Hi, my name is Angela and I love gardening. Okay, so uh, now I'm going to make a second box, which is much larger, and I'm going to use it for my art project. So this time I'm going to use the nice side on the outside, and uh, it's going to be uh, a bit shorter because I only need like three centimeters for the sides. Now you can see that there is tape on it because it's, you know, it used to be a wrap of our refrigerator. So this you want to remove, you do it. this is the way you do it, you just pick the corner and then easily you remove it, you do not want to leave the tape on it and you throw it away. Now we're going to clean all the sides. Now this side looks okay, this side doesn't. So first I'm going to clean the side, meaning I'm going to cut it. Now, as you see, my little doesn't go all the way up, so I'm going to need another one to finish it. This, no. this side, as you see, is where it used to be folded, so I don't want it. I want it to be cut nicely, so this I'm not going to use. And here I have a cut, so I'm going to remove this part too. The thing is that I don't need a specific size. I want to make a box that is as large as I can get out of this uh, piece of cardboard. So, I'm just cleaning it. And I'm going to this part through. Now this is why I use Looks funny. It's as if the card is not straight. But anyway, it doesn't matter. For my art project, it doesn't have to be uh, accurate. It doesn't have to be square. So, This time I'm going to make a different kind of corner. Okay, so I want it to be nice and smooth and we're fine to go. Um, I want um, the edges to be three centimeters wide and I prefer to cut it this way because when this is on top, it looks much better than when this is on top. I could have cut this way three centimeters, but I'd rather cut this way. It's not very important, it only looks nicer. So I'm using my ruler to mark the weight. It's exactly the, the weight that I need. I'm just making sure that here it is exactly on the edge. And I'm going to cut four stripes, same. Side. And whatever is left is going to be the size of the board for my art program. Let's see what we got. Not 26 by 40. Okay, so this is going to be my next art project. Okay, here the corner is not very nice. I'm going to cut it this off. And if you want to make sure that it is square, you just need to use this. Just go over all the edges and see that it is accurate. 
more accurate enough. Now the more accuracy you want, you need to use the measurements and the ruler, etc. Now here, I see it's not very straight. It doesn't really matter for my purposes. If it did matter, I would cut it off. So it's good enough for me. This time I'm going to use the hot glue gun and I'm going to finish it faster. Now in this project, I'm going to do the sophisticated uh, corner finishing. So all four of my sides need to be larger in the amount of So I need to have two of this size. And now the longer side. Mm, it's not long enough. Okay. So... This is what I'll do. I'll cut a bit off so I can do it the way I want it to be. It's not essential. We could have done it the other way. I just want to show you. So I'm cutting. This is the maximum length I can have on this side. sharp uh, blade because only with a very sharp and good blade I can do those little cuts otherwise I'll not get what I want now if I'm not sure I can fold it a little okay so this this is the side that, that's going up and the way I'm going to do the corner, I want them to be in a way that I don't see, you know, the endings. So in order to do that, I'll cut it diagonally. Yeah, it needs some, takes some practice. You can also squish it a little inside, and then when I finish it, it will be this way. So on the outside, I will only see the paper. Okay, so this is what's going to happen right here, right now. Okay, and I'm going to do the same thing with all of them. You need to find a way that it uh, is easier for you if you want to do it this way. As I said, you can also squish it at the corner. This will work too. So we have these two ready. And both sides have to go the same way. So if this one goes this way, the other one has to go inside as well. Okay. So I say it's not very, very accurate. It's not like um, 
side effect, but it is good enough. And um, now, let's see if my hot glue gun is ready. Now my hot glue gun, I always keep it in a box like this. You can use any box that you have, not a plastic box obviously, but if you have, you know, an old uh, can uh, or a, a, a glass thing, you can use it. This one I prepared for myself, it's like the best for me. The reason I use it is, uh, the, actually there are two reasons. First of all, uh, if it stands here, there's no way you can touch it and, you know, the hot glue and nothing will happen to you. The other reason is that the glue gun it needs to be standing in an upright position like this. If it's lying down, um, it's not good for the glue gun. It will, you know, the, the glue will melt inside the, the engine and this is what makes them uh, stop working. So um, my hot glue gun will always be in the box for those two reasons. And I highly, highly recommend you to do that too. And we're going to start. Now you want to pay attention that you're now using uh, the gun like on top of your hand, so if it drips, it doesn't drip on your hand. And very, very delicately, you apply this layer. I don't even know if you see it, it's not outside the frame. So this is what I'm doing along the entire side. Okay, and now, um, this one I've got wrong, but I'm, the way I'm, I'm putting it is with the uh, diagonal towards the inside. And this one is way, way too big. Something went wrong with my measurement. So, now I'm trying to pay attention that it's on the spot that it is leveled, if it is leveled, it will save me the sanding work later. Okay. This one goes here, and then here, you can see that you will not see the corner. I don't see what I'm showing you, but this is the idea. So again, on the entire side. Now, if it doesn't work for you to do it on the thin side of the cardboard, you can do it here. You can put the glue and I've, I don't know if you saw it, if it was outside the frame, but I put some glue here. And now I'm just holding it for a minute. And as you can see, I had a mistake here with the measurements. I need to fix it. Okay, so this is the right size and that's the wrong size. I know what happened, but we'll fix it. Okay, so. It's not pretty, but it will do the work. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, so this one goes here. And then here, I already see I will have to do some sanding. So again, glue gun on the short side of the corner, on the edge. the last long side which apparently I didn't cut the right side so I'm going to fix it now it has to go a little bit less like this cardboard has the tendency to warp the bigger it is the more it warps and the stronger and the better the cardboard is it, it works less but it depends you know where you found it if it wasn't humidity etc so you need to pay attention that when you... okay so this is all wrong it moved completely so I'm going to do it all over again So, as I mentioned, you know, cardboard is a very forgiving material. If you make a mistake, you can redo easily, and most of the time you can fix even the first mistake you made, you know, like I just did. And I'm holding it so it is in the right position. Okay, much better. And then you can see I already feel with my fingers that I will have to sand here. Now the bigger it is, and <laughs> I already see that I did it uh, the wrong way, but it doesn't matter. It will work anyway. So, and this is the last part. Okay. Now I see that the glue is almost... Uh, finished so I always prepare another one next to me and we'll stop coming out no, it has got, it's got nothing to push in And you have to work quickly because you know the, the the hot glue dries. So here it is. Pay attention not to touch the hot glue with your fingers like I just did. It's very hot. And you, you will get burned. You will definitely get burned. And you want to get burned as, as little as possible. And the last bit here. That's it. Just holding it for a sec, and then we'll go for the sanding. 
Now the sanding I do not recommend to do indoors because it makes a lot of uh, dust, paper dust. As it is, you're going to have enough, uh, you know, leftovers in the table. Like you see all those pieces that you need, you need, to, need to throw away. So the sanding, I recommend to go outside, you do it on a porch, if you have a porch, outside the window if it's a small project. Um, the best way to, to sand is to prepare yourself um, I'll show you. Too, but you know, since you already have cardboard, it's like really easy to do it with the one. Okay, So this is warm, even hot, so make no mistake and don't. Okay, so this is what you need in order to do the sanding properly. And now, when you go for the sanding, you hold it like that. So it's sanding at the level of the bowl. Okay? Moves. Okay. 
and that's it. We are going to do the finishing. And here I'm sending also the corner so that nothing sticks out. Now, since I'm going to do an art project on it with wet paints, um, it might work. So in this case, I'm going to uh, give it some reinforcement. And that's the way I'm going to do it. Okay, so it's going to be the size, the exact size of the inside. So the reason I'm doing it is because I do not want it to sink in. While it's wet, it might sink in, so I'm going to give it some reinforcement. The other uh, one that I just showed you is from a stronger cardboard, thicker, and uh, it is smaller, so it did, I didn't have a problem. But this time, I'm a bit worried that it will sink and will like, sort of create a crate. Here, I see that it didn't hold. Uh, Now, sometimes you have these leftovers of the glue, so you need to remove them immediately. If you don't remove them immediately, it's a hard work to remove them. So you need to remove them while it is still um, soft before it hardens. So there are advantages and disadvantages to working with uh, hot glue, as you see. I recommend that whenever you have time and you're in a hurry, at least at the beginning, you do it with uh, white glue. It's easier to fix. And uh, you don't risk get burned. I get burned all the time. Okay, so I'm putting it more or less in the middle. It's not a big deal if it's exactly in the middle. Again, I could have done it with the PVA glue. This is faster. Sometimes I want things to be ready right away. So. That's it. So this part is ready, and now we go for the finishing. The finishing we do, we'll do this time with um, Gumcraft, 
but uh, I will also show you how you can get uh, just plain uh, brown paper. So you know the drill. If you like the video and want to see more, give me the thumbs up. If you want to see more of my videos, subscribe to my channel. Everything you see here in the pictures are furniture made of cardboard. They're all made by myself or by my students. I suppose you're here because you too want to make some of those someday. So keep following and maybe you will.